So another question that a lot of times people will ask me is, after an injury, should they heat or should they ice? Or for that matter, if they have pain, if they should heat or if they should ice? If you ever have any doubt, just ice. Uh, ice can be applied to the painful area for 20 minutes at a time, and then it should be left off for at least 40 minutes. And then the ice can actually be repeated uh, for another 20 minutes. That cycle can go on 20 minutes on, 40 minutes off, um, as long as you would like. Um, if, if you have a, a recent injury, you can ice 20 minutes of every hour. That's another way of saying 20 minutes on, 40 minutes off. And you can do that as much as you're awake. Um, you certainly shouldn't wake up in the middle of the night to ice and then sleep for 40 minutes and then ice. Um, that would cause more of a problem and it would help. Um, heat can be used in chronic situations, meaning um, damaged, deteriorated joints that have been damaged for over a number of years, let's say 10 or 15 years. Um, heat can be used again for 20 minutes on, then off for 40 minutes, and then ice actually should be applied after that. So you can alternate with heat and ice. Um, heat is, is used much, much less frequently. If heat is overused, it will actually create more swelling, more inflammation in the area, and it will actually um, sort of put the nerves on guard, and the nerves will sense pain easier, and you'll actually make the injury much, much worse. So if there's any ever type of a doubt, uh, use cold, use, use ice. Um, heat should be used very, very sparingly. Um, and once again, neither of them should ever be used for greater than 20 minutes.